Hey guys, Dimani here with another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. So in today's video, we will have double fan art, one up top, one to the side. So guys, thank you so much for sending that in to me. It greatly helps support my channel. If you guys have any of your own drawings to show in one of my videos, my email is in the description. Send it on over! So in today's video, uh, we're actually going to be hitting part two of this kind of series. Um, so you guys have asked me in the past, I actually did a AGL version of this, so today we're going to be doing the tech version. You guys have asked me tons in the past to show my box, show the units I have, and so guys, today is tech day. We're going to be doing all the tech units. The reason why it says network error is because the game is currently under maintenance. The game's currently under maintenance, but um, as long as I don't go do an event or anything like that, I can still actually hop around the screens. So guys, uh, <laughs> that's like my only choice at the time of recording this video, so that's why I'm doing that. Uh, so... Guys, I'm going to be showcasing all my tech units. Um, we're going to go from activation all the way down, how I got it, uh, why did I put dupes in it, why did I rainbow it, uh, which ones I farmed the super attack, which ones I use Elder Kai's on. So uh, let's hop right in and let's do this. All right. So the first card, um, we should actually probably sort this by rarity after, after looking at it. Rarity. I like rarity. Okay. So the first card on this one, guys, is going to be LR Goku. Mine is level 145. This one, I did not rainbow star. I actually high, like really, really regret, really regret not rainbow starring this guy. Um, I know it sounds like I should have. I tried. I just, I had him already done. I had him already done. And I legitimately farmed like another four or 500 medals just trying to get enough dupes to open up the dupe path on this one. I was not able to do it. So that's the only reason why he is not rainbow starred. Um, I do regret that though, because he's a very good unit. If you guys have a rainbow star Goku, props out to you. Okay, so uh, he is super attack 20, however, so uh, that's cool, but I mean, that rainbow star makes him legit, and yeah. Okay, so the next card is LR Hercule. Um, this one, I have no intention of getting to super attack 20. I did do the free super attack 10 one. Um, I am not going to do another 100 million Zenny to get a second one. Um, after seeing damage tests from other people and playing with this card myself, this unit absolutely is trash. Um, as far as the collective purposes, I love the guy. Um, I like the card art. Um, I like the super attack animation. Um, when you go into damage and numbers and all that, he's poo poo. He's absolute poo poo. Okay, this one right here, LR, uh, Rose, and Zamasu. Um, I have not put a dupe into these guys. I pulled this one live on stream. Uh, he is super attack 20. I farmed the first uh, 10 SA, and the second 10 um, I actually used Elder Kai's on. Um, I have not put anything to the system. I don't want to put anything to, into the dupe system until I at least pull one dupe of the man. Um, if that ever happens, I will definitely be putting orbs into him. Uh, but as of right now, as of right now, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't use him a whole lot. I wish I used him more. Um, he just doesn't fit optimal on any team. Oh, well, he does fit optimal on some teams, but the problem is, is right now on global, there are a lot of teams that are better off without him. So it's kind of a sad story. Uh, but, but we're hoping one day, uh, he will, you know, shine in all of his glory, right? Super Saiyan 3 Broly coming around the corner, probably. He'd be decent on that team. Okay, this man, this man right here, absolutely no regrets. This one I use Elder Kai's, obviously. Um, this banner that is currently out on the Janemba banner, I actually, like, I pulled them nonstop, nonstop in the stream. I pulled like four of them in like literally four multis. It was insane. Uh, those that were there know what I'm talking about. So I got really lucky on him. Um, definitely worth the rainbow star. I have all orbs into him. I screwed up somewhere along, uh, like along the lines. I don't know why he is 17 crit. I'm gonna have to look at that. He should be 20 crit. So I'm sure I actually put actually puts like chose a wrong path or something like that. But it's no big deal. Okay. So, uh, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, absolutely no regrets. This guy right here, this guy right here, he's a beast. He hits so hard. I love his mechanic. I, I, I actually, this one does have a farmable super attack. You can farm the uh, Epic Showdown Goku to his uh, Angel Super Saiyan 3 Goku form and feed those in for the free farmable super attack, but I did not do that. I actually used Elder Kai's. Um, I have quite a few to, to you know, to throw around right now, so I used them in this one. That grind is insane, so anybody that did that, mad shout out, mad props to you. Do I regret the Rainbow Star? No, 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 no. This guy is good, he hits hard, and actually with the release of Super Saiyan 3 uh, Bardock in the JP side of the game, uh, he becomes relevant once again on that team at 170% attack buff. So I will take this one, um, no regrets right there. Love it. Um, this one, however, this one, however, I have a different feel on. So. I love this card. It's actually it's actually at, in global to date my favorite card in the game. Uh, Super Saiyan three Go Tanks. Uh, the reason why he's my favorite card is because I absolutely love the mechanic. 
I like the mechanic of having to kind of manipulate the key orbs and uh, trying to get 11 key, moving your board around, doing whatever you can to get 11 key. It makes the game a little bit more exciting, a little bit more fun, especially with Super Saiyan 3 Goku on the team, the one that I just went over last time. Um, with this rainbow orb mechanic uh, mixed with this guy, I actually enjoy that a lot. Problem with this one is with the release of the physical one, probably within the next month, he doesn't fit on my fusions team anymore, and he's probably not going to fit on my tech. I'm probably not going to run a tech team anymore unless I have to. So, I mean, it is what it is. Um, at, at the time of you know using him when he was optimal, I do not regret those rainbow orbs or all those orbs I put into him whatsoever. Uh, hopefully, I get to use them more in the future after physical go tanks drops. Those that played JP, let me know in the comments. Um, even after you got physical go tanks, do you ever still tap into the Super Saiyan three uh, tech go tanks? I'd love to know that. Okay, so the next unit with orbs is the free-to-play uh, Bulma. Ugh, rest in peace, Bulma. So we got the Bulma card. Um, I did do this event. Um, it doesn't take. It didn't take very long when it was here. No regrets right there. Uh, she's actually a very good tank. Uh, next card we have right here is Vegito. I do have him max super attack, max super attack. And actually thinking about that, yeah, max super attack on him. Uh, the reason why I have a max super attack is because I've actually pulled ten of the guy. No joke. I pulled 10 of them, so I have a max super tech, which is cool, right? Um, this one right here, Whis. Whis, I actually use the uh, the weekend uh, hero extermination or villain extermination. I can't remember which one he drops from. I farm that, uh, the AGL ones, enough times to max out this guy's super attack. Um, mixed with PyCon, especially with PyCon getting a rebirth soon in global, these two are a amazing combo with uh, links like Shattering the Limit, Shocking Speed, and Gentlemen. So, uh, very good card. Um, I'm just... You know, I wish I could use him a little bit more, but I, he's a very good unit. Next card right here is Zamasu. I do have him super attack 10. I farmed his super attack from the first stage of the Zamasu event. So if you guys have Zamasu, make sure to get farm that super attack. Um, I did not put orb orbs into him. I just don't run villains a whole lot. If I run villains a little bit more, I'd probably be... Oh, sorry, I tapped that. I'd probably be a little bit more interested in putting orbs into these units. But um, just not for me. Just not for me. I, I'd rather put orbs into you know, like the Gogetas, the Super Saiyan 3 Gokus, uh, things like that. So... What's the next tech uh, tech unit to get orbs? Let me think about that for a second. The next tech unit to get orbs on global. Oh, you know what? I don't even know. I don't even know thinking about it right now. Maybe Super Saiyan 3 Broly. We'll have to see. If I get Super Saiyan 3 Broly, then maybe I'll put orbs into uh, Merge the Masu. That might be a pretty fun team to play. Uh, this one right here, Golden Frieza. I actually farmed his super attack with the Golden Frieza Resurrection of F event. Uh, completely free, completely farmable, but that event has to be here, and it comes like literally like once a year. So uh, I did it when it was available, and uh, we're good. I actually pulled some dupes of this one too that I fed into the super attack, so a couple of things there. Um, you can do the same thing with the AGL one also. Bardock! Bardock, um, this one, I actually farmed his super attack. Oh, semi-farm, semi-farm. The AGL one that actually just got a rebirth today at the time of recording this in Dokkan Battle. Uh, the AGL Bardock, you can feed into this one. Uh, once he's SSR Awoken for a 50% chance up, and I got this guy to SA10 uh, with that method. He hits very hard. He seals. He's an orb changer. Awesome, awesome unit. Um, can't go wrong here. I think he actually, does he have Fierce Battle or re Rebirth? He has Fierce Battle too, so... You can't go wrong with this guy, especially if you have a Rainbow Star, Super Saiyan 3, uh, Goku, but uh, a lot of you guys, I understand, don't have that. Okay, so Candy Vegito, you guys all know Candy Vegito. Um, he's actually probably pretty decent when um, Battle Road comes out, but right now, uh, he doesn't have a spot on the team. Uh, we don't need tanky units at, such as him uh, right now, but uh, like I said, when Battle Road comes down, he would probably be uh, completely viable. All right, uh, next unit on the field there is Mass Saiyan. Uh, Mass Saiyan, I actually put Elder Kai's into. Um, I don't use them. I don't use them, and like I said, uh, Super Saiyan 3, um, Tech, uh, Broly, or Super Saiyan, I'm sorry, or Merge the Masu, and this guy actually made quite a trio of a team, uh, but I just don't use that uh, that team right there. So if I ever got Super Saiyan 3 Broly, I would have to put make a decision of who to put orbs into next. Um, I've never pulled a dupe of this guy, and I do have a rule. I have a rule, you guys, I would ever, I mean, it, play the game how you want to, but in this game, I have a rule, if I don't have a dupe in something, I don't put orbs into it. I don't put orbs into it. If I don't have a dupe, not worth the orbs, because you never know if you're ever going to pull another one. All right, so, uh, tech, uh, <laughs> tech boo, you can actually farm, uh, you can't farm, you can't farm. Uh, you can feed the AGL physical and the intelligence, uh, if you want to, into this one. 
but uh, you'd have to do it. You have to reverse Dokkan and do it that way. Uh, card is eh. Uh, hits kind of hard. Probably fit on the Super Saiyan 3 Broly team. Uh, does have, I believe, a 90% chance on Super Attack. I'm sorry, 70% chance on Super... I'm sorry, 70% attack buff on Super Attack. Uh, key plus two, uh, and he does the Rosengan. So how cool is that, right? Okay, so Cell, perfect Cell. Um, I pulled this unit very late in the game for me. Um, so I don't even have max. I probably actually never used them. Um, I do have a lot of intelligent cells that I was saying about feeding into this guy. Uh, but what I am waiting for, uh, as we know, Super Saiyan 3, AGO Goku got a rebirth. This guy right here might be next on the list. So if he is, if he is, uh, let me know in the, uh, in the comments uh, if you guys would actually like want to put orbs into him, want to check him out. If he is next on the list, that makes that Super Saiyan 3 Broly team a lot more viable. It really does. Okay, so... Rage Trunks. This one right here, I actually farmed the super attack on. Um, in his event, when he came out, you can farm the super attack from the, I believe the, well, I want to say the strength one. Yeah, I believe the strength one. I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is a strength one. You actually raise the strength one to SSR status. You feed him into this one and you're good to go. All right, so next card. What the hell is this one? Uh, super Saiyan 2 Goku Angel. Nani. Super Attack 5. Okay, okay. This is the one that recently got a rebirth with the Super Saiyan 3 uh, Goku event. Uh, it took me a little bit to figure out which one this was because the card it's changed on me. I'm used to something a little bit different. Uh, I've actually pulled five of them in the, my, my Dokkan career. Um, I've never used this unit. Not once, not ever. So he might be good, but like I said, never used him. Uh, then right here, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. I've actually pulled quite a few of these guys, but I fed them into the strength one because this guy... This guy, I don't know what it is. I, I, maybe they just think Vegeta is not fast, but um, no Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta has over in a flash. Maybe they just think he's slow. I have no idea, guys. I have no idea. Um, even with the rebirth in... Ooh, excuse me. <sighs> Late at night, because his maintenance going on. Sorry about that. Uh, so, even in uh, the JP version today, uh, the GT one that just got the rebirth of strength one still does not have over in a flash. So, I'm not sure why they hate this unit so much. Or, you know, like even a TUR version, like a, a Z awakening of this one would actually be pretty cool. It's one that's really falling off the meta. Um, even though he's already a Dokkan awakened unit, he needs something. He needs something. He's one of the worst cards in the game, in my opinion. All right. So right here we have Beerus. I actually farmed this super attack with the uh, the Tech Beerus that uh, that you can pull from summons. Uh, so is he worth it? Not really. He doesn't hit very hard um, on super attack. I believe he's what seventy percent damage, sixty percent damage. Uh, he has a chance to rage, uh, but the Tech Beerus can raise the super attack. If he ever got a Z Awakening, he would be actually really cool to have. Uh, next one, Super Saiyan God Goku. Um, I do have a max super attack. I did not pull ten of them. Uh, the way I got him max super attack is I actually fed all those physical ones, um, a couple uh, AGL ones. This, like any, like his mind's already maxed out. Anything I can do to get this guy super attack to max, I did it. Uh, no other no other guys used. However, okay. So the next unit we have right here is Turles. Turles is a world tournament card. I could not be bothered to farm the uh, the strength Turles from the event to raise the super attack. Um, so I did not do that, but I did Doke on Awaken him. His hand looks really weird there, doesn't it? It looks like this is part of his forearm right there, but I know it's part of his leg. It just looks like his forearm is kind of like falling off. Uh, this looks funny. Just looks funny, but because uh, his blast makes it look like a separation. You guys see that? Uh, but that is his leg right there. Is his leg. Oops. I guess I could just do that. All right. Next card, we have Demon King Piccolo. Uh, fearful World Dominate. Wait, domination? Nani. Fearful world, fearful world domination minus super attack three. Uh, very good unit. Uh, fits well on um, probably that Super Saiyan 3 Broly team. Uh, extreme type key plus three and attack plus 25%. So he's a good buff unit. Um, I never use this guy. I never use this guy, although he would be, like I said, decent on that team. Just feels bad that I never get to play with him. All right, here we have Super Saiyan Vegeta GT, um, Lone Guardian. Uh, mine is Super Attack 3. After the rebirth, they made this guy a lot better. HP uh, attack plus 90% when HP is 90% or below. A lot better than what he was, but he's still crap. Uh, he does have Shattering Limit, Shadow Dragon Saga, so you can run him on a Shadow Dragon's team if you wanted to. Um, but I would never play with this unit. That's just me. Okay, so moving on, we got Karoli. I actually just pulled Karoli for the first time. 
um, chasing after Weiris, uh, but Karoli beyond Destiny. This is the Dokkan Awakened uh, form right here. Uh, attack 80% at start of turn. So very good card, very good unit. You can hit pretty decently. Does he have Fierce Battle or does he have Shattering the Limit? He has Shattering the Limit, so I wish he had Fierce Battle instead. Okay, so moving forward, we have Super Saiyan Goku. Total Might, Full Power. Ugh, trying to think. All these attack and defense. Is this the World Tournament Goku? I think it might be. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. He has Shattering the Limit. All allies attack and defense 25% when HP is 30% or be uh, below or above. Um, like I said, I think that's the World Tournament one. I do have him at max. Whoops. I do have him at max super attack, which is kind of funny. The, the fact that I've never used him before. Uh, but uh, when the crossover event came out, I max super attacked all my Gokus. Okay, so right here we have. Uh, Bardock, Giant Ape. This one actually has a rebirth, but I keep pulling a lot of them, so I'm kind of waiting for his super attack to be maxed out before awakening him. Um, never use this card, nor do I plan on ever using this card. Um, it's not very good. I hate Great Apes. I don't like Great Apes. I th Maybe if they come out with like a 200% category lead or something like that, then maybe I'll play with them again, but uh, they're kind of underwhelming. Those that have played know what I'm talking about. Uh, so we got Majin Vegeta, Super Attack 1. Um, cool card. I love the card art. Just not very good. Really, he was probably one of the kings of the world tournament. He is now gone. Um, replaced by LR Broly uh, until further notice, right? All right. So we got this guy, uh, Super Saiyan Vegeta. Um, probably one of the worst rebirths that we have in the game. Uh, key plus 3, attack 25% when HP is 80% or below. He has 6,000 attack power. What level is this guy? 111 with 6,000 attack power. Whatever, bro. Whatever, bro. Super Saiyan Vegeta, go work out a little bit. Um, I can actually, I actually have a few of these in my box. I can raise a super attack if I wanted to. I just felt no obligation to do so. All right. Uh, so I did Dokkan Awaken this guy, but I haven't used him uh, yet. But uh, probably for maybe some free-to-play events, I will definitely pop him out. Uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku Angel uh, heading for a showdown. This is epic showdown Goku in his final form. Um, card is actually very, very good. High chance of attack, 180% to ever higher levels. Has uh, over in a flash, fierce battle, blazing battle, limit breaking form. Uh, probably one of the top, probably top three best cards, that, uh, free cards that they've ever given you. Love the card. Okay. So next one we have is Vegeta right here. I actually got him max super attack. Um, I've been pulling a lot of dupe Vegetas lately. And when I pull a dupe, I've just been feeding him into this guy. And I just recently got a max super attack. This one, I believe, does Dokkan Awaken. I just don't have the medals to do so. So once I get enough medals, I will Dokkan Awaken him. Uh, I've just been kind of slacking on that one right there. Uh, so Shen, Shen, I'm sorry, Nova Shenron. I almost said Shen Shenron. Nova Sin Shenron. Nova Shenron. Uh, uh, it's causing supreme damage and recent attack for three turns. Uh, something that's really interesting, this guy got a rebirth in JP a long ass time ago. We are well overdue for it. Um, don't know when it's coming. I would really would have thought to see it on the last uh, Rising Carnival banner, but he didn't get it. Uh, key plus two, attack 70% when facing one enemy. No farmable super attack that I'm aware of, but that's fine. All right, so then we have Trunks right here. Super Saiyan Trunks, kid. Uh, dead. Uh, let's see, I believe he's somewhat of a tank, right? If I remember correctly, when guard is activated. Attack 8% reduces damage received by 40%. So against AGL units, he takes 40% less damage. Uh, has prepared for battle. No rebirth on this guy right here. Uh, but he does have a formidable super attack, technically. Uh, well, not, well, you can, any, any, any um, SR trunks you pull uh, that is a Super Saiyan, you can feed right into this guy. The one that comes to mind the, the fastest is the Intelligence one. That's how I got mine to Super Attack 5, um, but it's up to you guys if you want to do that. Um, I wouldn't really bother with it unless it gets a rebirth. All right, guys, almost done. It won't be too much longer. Uh, so we got Jackie Chun right here. Martial Artist Pride uh, is a Super Strike card. Got a max Super Attack at Super Attack 15. Um, very, very good card. Uh, right here, uh, Super Saiyan Goku. This is a reward from the first year anniversary. So uh, I kind of held on to the card. I didn't raise a super attack, which I wish I did. Uh, Baba Shot Piccolo, great, great tank, especially against AGL units, minus 50%. Um, so good card there. Uh, this Frieza right here, they gave us when the full, I'm sorry, the LR Frieza event came out. Um, haven't done anything with it. Uh, don't prob probably will never do anything with it. Wait, what's his passive? Is that 10,000 at start turn? Attack 10,000 at start of turn once only. Oh, that's crap. Okay, we got uh, Baba Shop Yamcha. This card is very good. Don't be underestimating Yamcha. Uh, this card greatly lowers attack. Not many cards do that. Um, if you guys are running that type of team, he is definitely clutch. 
All right, right here we have Go Tanks uh, Failure B. This is a Super Strike card. Got him max Super Attack. Um, he's kind of fallen off a little bit. I don't use him very much anymore. That's uh, I wouldn't even use him as a leader anymore since Super Saiyan three AGL Goku's on that team. But that's whatever. Uh, right here we have Gohan Icarus uh, Heart to Heart. This one is the Sentu Bean Gohan, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let's see. Attack 200% and fully recover HP when HP is 30% or below. Really? 200% when his HP falls below? That's cool. All right, and lastly, right here, we have Dead Yamcha. They gave this one to us, for uh, I believe it was on April Fool's. Uh, yeah. What do you think, guys? Uh, am I missing any AGL units that you guys can think of? Let me know in the comments. If I'm missing one, I want to know about it. Um, I think I got everything here, but you guys would know. You guys would know. All right, guys, my name is Demonte. I hope you enjoyed this box showcase of tech units. Uh, let me know in the comments if there's anything that you think I should change, anything that you think I should raise a super tag, or anything that I for, like forgot to mention. Uh, let me know to help other people out. Answer other people's comments. Let me know, as always, what which one was your favorite drawing, and I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure to like, subscribe. Uh, follow me on Snapchat. I got a Snapchat now. So follow me on Snapchat if you want to, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later. Mm -hmm.